What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. So far 2021 has been kind of an interesting year for deck releases. Uh, here we are in the third month of the year and it's been kind of quiet. The beginning and middle of 2020 was obviously really quiet with all of the shutdowns and everybody in COVID. And then towards like the second half of 2020, the deck releases spiked. There was a lot of stuff coming out. And then now it's the beginning of the year and there's not really a lot to go on, but at least none that are super high profile, but there is some. Um, in fact, you kind of know it's been a crazy year when it seems like Fontaine is releasing more decks than anybody else, and that seems to be the case so far. So today we are going to be taking a look at the new Fontaine Pink Panther playing cards. If you guys haven't heard about these, these are the latest Fontaine cards, and as well they are a collab with MGM Entertainment and the Pink Panther movie property. At this point, Fontaine is kind of known for collaborating with non-card related brands to make their decks. I mean, we've seen them do it with multiple, multiple clothing companies and now a couple of movies. They just recently released the Halloween deck and that was literally in collaboration with the studio that created Halloween. And the same thing goes for the new Pink Panther deck. This is owned by MGM Entertainment and they have licensed the Pink Panther uh, brand to Fontaine for this deck. And today I'm gonna tell you if it was worth the licensing fees for Fontaine and if it was worth the $180 that it took to get more than one of these. By the way, I did pay for these cards out of pocket and I am gonna be doing a giveaway for some of them at the end of this episode so make sure you guys drop a like uh, this stuff is pretty expensive for me to pay for so uh, make sure you hit me with that like and subscribe it'll help me continue to do big profile giveaways like this all right I got stuff to do I'm sure you guys got stuff to do so without further ado let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way Now, like I said, Fontaine seems like they've been on a roll lately. In 2021, they've released, I believe, the Fontaine Broccolis came out in 2021, as well as the Fontaine Cranberries, and then just, just before the cutoff, Last year, they had released uh, the gray Fontaines, the orange ones from the fall line. All of those decks are great. The reason why I didn't review any of them is because they are just recolors of the original Fontaine Supreme back. This deck is completely unique, custom, and locked and loaded for review, so we do have kind of a lot to get into. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the brick box that these came in. Now, this came cello wrapped, which I thought was interesting. I've never actually seen a brick be wrapped in cellophane. This one was. I don't know for sure that that was necessary. It was just one more layer of plastic to take off. But I will say that the box came in excellent condition. So these were fulfilled by Art of Play. And as you can see, brick box came free of any dents, scratches. I mean, it was in perfect condition, which is good because every once in a while I'll order something and it'll be shipped from Art of Play and it'll be really nicely packed and whatever inside, but then like the corner of the box will be dented and one of the decks will just be dinged, smashed right on the corner. Not the case here, super stoked about that. The brick box is decorated in all of this Pink Panther artwork, which looks really, really good. I love that. Really good stuff. And then when you open it, the decks are stacked six up two over so really cool brick box uh usually i don't hang on to brick boxes this is probably one that i'll keep though it's very very nice and now taking a look at the deck you can see the front of the tuck box says pink panther established 1964 and it's got uh, a lot of classic pink panther design so a lot of the stuff in here you guys are going to see is directly from the Pink Panther, not necessarily designed by Zach, but borrowed and licensed, uh, which is totally okay. The real question is how does it all work with the deck? And that's really what we're going to talk about today. One side of the deck has like your traditional Fontaine ad copy that you always see, and then the other side has some uh, fine print about MGM and Pink Panther. On the bottom, you can see this was one of 10,000, so a fairly large print run for Fontaine. Uh, they also did 10,000 for the Halloween deck. Maybe it's just because they're licensed licensing them, the decks are a little bit more expensive, maybe they print more so they can sell more. Back of the box is the back design of the cards. You can see your normal Fontaine logo, but this one has the Pink Panther kind of leaned up against that Fontaine. Inside the box, you can see your typical Fontaine spade tip, and it says Fontaine on the top. Overall, this is a really nice tuck box. I do enjoy this shade of pink. This specific shade of pink is probably my favorite, so really nice. It's a little bit darker than the pink Fontaines, and a little bit more pink, a little bit more vibrant than like the Alt Rosa deck, so very, very pink, and it looks really good. It's, it's a good shade, definitely a good choice. I also like that it's two-toned, so even Pink Panther is written in pink. It's just a darker pink. I like that. All right, so let's take a look at the cards. soft. All right, taking a look at your back design, very clear one-way back design as you can see, but it is the 
Typical Fontaine format, very thin borders, solid colored back, beautiful Fontaine logo mirrored top and bottom. And then you get this dope pink panther leaned up against the, the Fontaine F on the bottom. Obviously, like I said, it's one way. If you turn it this way, it goes different. The orientation is different. But honestly, when you fan the cards, you can't really tell anyway. I know some of you guys don't care so much for the uh, one-way designs. I personally don't mind it if it's a deck that you're not using for performance. Even if it is, it's not a huge deal. It just depends on if, if your eyes can accept it. Grace of Spades looks like this, also custom. It is the pink panther head that we saw on the brick box and it just says Fontaine underneath it. So not the typical Fontaine Ace of Spades with like a pink stripe. This one is completely different, a little bit more suited to the theme of the deck. And themes are super important. You guys have heard me say this before. Uh, this is not the only time that we're gonna see uh, some pink panther characters in the faces of the cards. And I think that's really, really important, especially for a deck that has such a minimal back design. All right now as well, you are gonna get two identical jokers, which is always nice. Your jokers are taken directly from the pink panther. Looks like he's got a uh, mixing board there and a paintbrush. He's ready to just start going to town, painting some stuff. This is pretty awesome. It pays homage to the Pink Panther being French. I believe that the movie and the cartoon properties were originally French. So that makes perfect sense and very well designed. I like this. Uh, again, I don't think this was original design work by Zach, but it looks really good and it matches the deck. So no complaints. All right now as well, you are going to get two ad cards. You could use them, I guess, for something, but definitely uh, their ad cards are not gaff cards for sure. Uh, one of them is this image, this cartoon image of the Pink Pink Panther with a lampshade. Uh, this looks really funny. You got that little detective there from the Pink Panther. And the other one is the Pink Panther conducting like a symphony or an orchestra or something. And these ad cards are really nice. They have the, the regular back design, but very vibrant colors on the front. So even if you don't use these for anything, that's definitely something that you could put like in a nice little frame or in a carrot case and just use it as art on display. All right, now we have a nice back design. It's minimal, but it's it's thematic. We have a good ace of spades. We got some cool jokers. The faces of the cards, uh, in terms of the numeric face cards, they are standard. So just like you would see them on a bicycle deck, you got your two of spades, spades look like spades, diamonds like diamonds and all the rest, right? So very, very, Standard, nothing wrong with that at all. I actually prefer standard faces in most cases. Prefer standard faces in most cases. <laughs> Hit that like button if you wanna see me rap more. And you do get custom work for the court cards. This is actually a really interesting touch and one that I think is a selling point for most of us. Uh, and that is that the characters on the court cards are directly from the Pink Panther. So you can see they are completely custom. They don't look anything like you would see on a standard deck. Uh, now this isn't a deck that you're gonna be using for performance anyway, so I think it's okay. Look at this. <laughs> look at her looking all seductive. I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to do there. But yeah, really great work. I love the images, especially ones like this, you know, kind of some deep cuts from the Pink Panther. I like that every queen in the deck is the Pink Panther. It makes perfect sense. Look at that. This might be my favorite one. Actually, that one might be my favorite. These are very, very nicely done though. So super simple, they just have images in the middle directly from the Pink Panther movies and cartoon. Obviously the target audience for a deck like this is cardistry and collecting. So I think it definitely plays well into both. If you're doing cardistry, you don't really need the standard faces. I like the cartoony look, really matches the deck. And that's something that I think we should give Zach and Fontaine some credit for is it's easy for us to say that it's a recolor of the same thing, sold for an expensive premium or whatever the case is, but you have to remember that when people are designing decks, they're designing decks that they would want to use, right? And so for somebody who likes standard decks, these decks are really, really nice. Or for somebody who, you know, loves uh, uh, the color pink, this deck could be really nice. If you just love cardistry and you don't need, uh, you know, you don't, you don't need recognizable faces and that's for you, then whatever the case is. I just think it's easy for us to judge when similar designs come out in multiple colors. Uh, however, you don't know what the vision was supposed to be from the beginning and really only the creator can tell you that. And if this was the goal, then I think it was a home run. All right, now in terms of handling, these cards are very thin, just like typical Fontaine etiquette. They are printed on crushed plastic stock. So they're about as thin as you can possibly get from the USPCC. And man, can you feel it? They feel extremely soft right out of the box. Most USPCC cards coming out of the box feeling really good these days. This deck, definitely no exception. I will say it's interesting. It's a little bit stickier. I think it might just be the amount of ink. I'm not really sure. I'm sure after I shuffle it and break it in a little bit more, it's gonna feel just fine. It always does. 
Honestly, I love USPCC. <laughs> All right, so that was the review. So let me know what you guys think about these down below. Now, for those of you that did not have a chance to pick these up, I know how difficult it can be. Trust me, I know how difficult it can be. And you're in luck. Because I know how difficult it is, I wanna make it a little bit easier for one of you. So I'm gonna be giving away a sealed Fontaine Pink Panther deck. All you guys have to do to win this giveaway is make sure that you are a subscriber on this channel. Make sure those notifications are on. Make sure you drop a like on this video and then leave me a comment letting me know why you want the Fontaine Pink Panther deck. I will choose a winner and I will announce the winner once I have hit 7,000 subscribers on this channel and 5,000 followers on my Instagram. We are fairly close and if you guys would like to get to the winner faster, you can of course help by liking this video, sharing it if you're into that sort of thing, if you have any friends that love playing cards or, or just entertaining losers uh, on YouTube who talk about playing cards and forward that video over. Uh, let's see if we can get me to 7,000, that would be amazing and when we do, I'll go ahead and pick a winner for this. In the meantime, if you guys wanna help me support this channel, you can of course do do so by smashing the like button, leaving a comment, interacting with me. I work pretty hard on these videos, but as well, I have so much fun making them. So in order to continue making them, I want to know that you guys love them. And that's the best way to let me know. Big shout out to Zach Mueller from Fontaine Cards. Seems like another home run. I'm super stoked that I was able to get into the Fontaine Club because some of these releases are super important to you guys and I was able to get them. So also guys, stick around, got all kinds of fun stuff, fun announcements, big news, big news coming up. So if you guys are fans of the channel or if you're just friends of mine in particular and you want to know what I'm up to, definitely stay tuned. I got all kinds of stuff coming. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.